Today, you are going to implement a golf swing key that Ernie Els does, the big easy, the smooth swinger, to get his effortless power and to have consistency that you dream of. It's also gonna get rid of the stinking shots where you're getting stuck under the ball and you're getting trapped. And what that's gonna do is cause all sorts of inconsistencies. There's variables in the structure of your swing. It's also gonna get rid of casting the club, throwing it away, losing speed, getting those inconsistent shots. So tell me this, do those swings look a little bit like you? Let me know below. So let's get into it. Let's focus on the key move, all right? Maybe just grab a seven iron or something like that, okay? That'll work for you. Grab a seven iron, as I said, we're not focusing on the backswing too much, we're not focusing on the impact. We're just trying to really dial in the transition, getting in the slot, so we can then deliver with consistency. Because we need to get rid of all these variables, with the arm being too bent, with the body sliding too much, with leaning back too much, we need some repeatable, consistent structure with simplicity. I've created this shape here, all right? It's kind of like a, an L. You've probably heard of like the L to L swing. Yes. But I want you to think about this differently. I want you to imagine that in this shape here, from my torso, from my arm, from my arm to the club, I've created a box, a U shape, whatever. Whatever feels or, or resonates with you, that sensation. And what you're going to do is maintain this shape all the way down to delivery. That's it. That's all we're trying to accomplish today. That is it. And there's beauty in simplicity, right? Because it works. It works repeatedly. And it will work for you for a long time to give you that foundation, to give you that structure and confidence that you want with every club in the bag. So as we saw with Annie Els' swing, it is smooth as silk, okay? Obviously his tempo is good. It's actually not as slow as people think it is. Um, it's just a smooth tempo. Like it's not always about swinging slow, it's about smooth. And one of the reasons he is so smooth when he swings is from the top of the swing, this stays the same, okay? This shape stays the same until he gets into delivery. Now, how do you sort of move, right? That's my, probably what you're thinking right now. I really hope you're up out of your chair uh, giving this a try, okay? So we are moving this shape down. And if you can't quite feel it, I want you to try this. Hold the club about halfway down, all right? And we're always gonna sort of pull ourselves back a little bit to the top of the backswing. But what we're going to do is actually just sort of shift our weight down here, okay? Holding on to that kind of shape. It's not holding on to the angle, it's not forced, we're just holding on to that shape. And with the split hands, we're actually getting into a nice, powerful slot. That's a perfect way to practice it, and I hope you do. Just here, and you can actually work on a little bit of speed into there, holding that shape. But what moves it from the top, okay? Is it just the arms? Eh, in a way, yes. But is it spinning the hips? No. One of the main things you have to be wary of is trying to hold on to this angle too much. And what that's gonna do is almost cause your body to tilt this way, to tilt back like so. And why is that bad? That's where heavy shots are gonna be. That's where you're gonna sort of try and lift it up in the air. So we have to understand that, yes, we're maintaining this box, but we still have to allow it to unfold, like to release the box, but we wanna release it just past there. Just create a bit of awareness of where that club face is. We're still maintaining the box, we're still holding that angle, and we're getting into the slot, okay? So the club face is pointing a little bit more towards the ball. The next key factor I want you to focus on is to not try and overdo it and feel like you're getting jammed here, okay? And what that's gonna do is cause us to have the toe of the club pointing upwards, okay? That's what's gonna hurt us here. But as you're coming through, to make sure you're not sort of disconnecting that way, just tuck in the arm here, okay? The upper arm. You can use a tea peg. That's gonna be a good little drill. But you can just sort of tuck in your shirt. You do that, you're going to have 
a better release here. And you're going to feel the elbow pointing down. Why? It's going to give a consistent release there where we can deliver the power. And it's going to stop you doing that. It's also going to stop you doing this. Sort of approach the slot from here. You're just going to release through and keep connected that way. And it's almost going to feel like you're rotating your forearm just a little bit here. So beware of the excessive sort of tilt on leaning back. But we also don't want to have the lunge forward where the upper body is moving that way. And that can often happen because we're sort of propelling the hands out here. So it's like the gravity is pulling us this way and then we're trying to salvage it. So then we sort of drag it through here, you know, and that's where kind of over the top comes from and just crap. So after you've practiced the drill like so a few times, all right, just practicing this movement, but we're going to do it with feeling like we're applying pressure down into the lead side, pushing down this way, feeling like we're pushing into the front of the foot and the knee is pressing forward down this way, okay? And also in combination with that sort of sensation, getting us into the slot, the arms should be allowed to fall. This in fact is one of our most favorite moves to really upgrade people's ball strikings, especially with irons. We're allowing the arms to fall. My lead shoulder is moving down that way, just down here. I'm not swaying into it. I'm just allowing it to move down. And you won't really do it that much, even if you feel you're kind of down here, okay? It's that angle. We're applying pressure here, but doing it whilst holding on and sort of allowing the box to maintain into the slot. And that's the move I want you to rehearse as much as you can. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't checked out our website yet, there's an awesome series specifically for iron play as well. And I want you to check that out. See you next time.